Okay, uh, we've got this question here. So the the ultimate strength of a brittle material uh, is given as uh, uh, 3,000 PSI in tension and 5,000 in compression. So it's a bit more stronger in compression than it is in tension. Not quite to the level of, say, concrete or what have you, but still. Uh, and we want to use this to basically figure out what the ultimate shear stress of the material is based upon the Morse Coulomb theory of failure. Now, now when we say ultimate shear stress, that, that's basically us applying only a shear load. So uh, we start off by drawing the Morse circles for the two situations that we have. So again, uh, uh, just got the shear stress in this axis. And we've got the normal stress in this axis. So uh, in a uniaxial test, uh, the tension, so the tension test is represented by this circle here. It failed at 3000. Uh, the compressive test is uh, represented by this circle here. It failed at negative 500. And again, the, they both share uh, they both share a point because during those tests, we're only pulling in the one direction so that they're not experiencing any other stresses. So there's only the one non-zero principal stress there. And basically, so this gives us our envelope. And basically, whenever you draw your Morse circle for, uh, 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 for whatever state you're in, what you need is you need to have the Morse circle be within this envelope. So uh, if we want that to happen, basically uh, th what we get here is we, we've got a circle here and I've got a smaller circle here and in between in order for this thing to, f in order for a certain, more, uh, a certain more circle at a particular point to fit within there, its radius needs to drop and its radius needs to drop in a linear fashion as the average principal stress moves from negative to positive. So it, um, starting out over here, the radius is, uh, well, 2.5 uh, KSI. And over here, the radius is uh, uh, 1.5 KSI. And, that's, and then uh, that happens as the centers of those circles move from uh, negative uh, 250, uh, neg well, negative 2.5 to, to 1.5. So uh, if we want to figure out uh, what particular, uh, if, we, if we want to figure out what the, what the ultimate shear stress would be, uh, that's a situation where the average um, principal stress is zero. Uh, you know, we're, if, we're only, if we're only applying a shear load, uh, then we're causing a certain, uh, certain amount of shear stress and no shear load at that, uh, and no, princip and no principal uh, stresses at that point. And then obviously if we rotate it, and then, we, then we see the, the principal stresses if we rotate to a certain point. But uh, this would be, our, this would, this right here at the center, at the origin, that would be the centroid of our Morse circle. And we just need to figure out what the radius is. So again, if the radius drops linearly from uh, 2,500 to 1,500, over that distance, and this zero point here is located 62.5% of the way there. Um, you know, it's a uh, it's a uh, 20 uh, 2500 uh, over uh, from here to here, whereas it's a uh, overall it's uh, what is it uh, 4000. So, you know, 2,500 divided by 4,000, 62.5%. So the drop in radius needs to be 
62.5% uh, of the drop in radius from this point to, the, to this point. So 62.5% of 1,000, because that's how much it drops, gives us an ultimate radius there of uh, 1875 PSI. So, so our Moore's circle uh, for the ultimate shear stress state, oh, I don't want to show you that. More circle for ultimate sh for ultimate shear stress state. That would just be right. That'd be right. That'd be. Let's pretend that's a circle. <laughs> so right there, with a radius of eighteen seventy five. So that is our maximum pure pure shear load that we can see. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's about that.